Good evening, guys, on this warm Friday evening. The Le Monde, the Le Monde in Nevada City got a new set of wheels. Uh, well, really not new. They came off the Cannondale R500 Cat 4, which originally came off the Cannondale Cat 10. The Cat 10 got some new carbon hoops. The Cat 4 got some new carbon hoops. So... These Mavics ended up on the Nevada City, and they're perfect. It's a nine-speed rear hub. Uh, it just worked out perfect. And the best part about it all, took another pound off the bike. So this bike is now down to 20 pounds. Not bad for a 2002 uh, Reynolds 531 tube bike, fork, and frame. So all-steel bike, nine-speed um, Sora, with a few upgrades, a lot of little, uh, a lot of little upgrades, carbon bars, carbon seat posts, uh, carbon stem, uh, obviously Mavic wheels with uh, gaiters, the black edition, the handmade gaiters uh, from Germany, um, a Vizik power saddle, uh, look carbon pedals. Um, and now this bike, a lot of parts are changed, are being changed out. You know, we're getting down to, what, the front derailleur, the cranks, and the rear derailleur, and headset and bottom bracket is the original parts. Oh, and the shifters. And I've decided I'm not going to upgrade the shifters. I'm going to leave this bike sort of period correct. The wheels are a little bit of an upgrade, but the wheels that were on it, they were okay. They, uh, whoever owned it first took the labels off. When I inspected the hubs, the hubs were just rub are rough but they were ball bearing hubs they weren't sealed hubs so uh yeah i kind of fine-tuned them but you know uh this just took a lot of weight off the bike and uh you know it's going to make less rolling resistance uh it's just going to make for a smoother bike so i'm happy with the upgrade um man the nevada city doesn't need a thing for a 20 year old bike man she looks sharp there's some uh, i found a big old scrape on the inner um, chain stay so it looks like the a wheel was rubbing pretty bad i never noticed it because i haven't had a flat so i never took off the rear wheel since i bought it and when i took off the rear wheel today i saw the big scratch so obviously i sanded it down put a little paint on it and a black sticker over it so in case the wheel ever comes askew again uh, at least it won't go be grinding into the metal. So everything worked out great, guys. This is the uh, Le Mans, the Nevada City, and uh, she's running great. If you guys have any questions, let me know.